created by Brett. Yeah. If you own a Mac, then you own iMovie because it comes with a Mac. And iMovie makes it super easy for you to add titles, including subtitles, into any video that you make. I made a project in iMovie called Zombie Subtitles Parody, and I'm going to go up to the file menu and create a new event so I can drag in my video. I'm going to name the event the same thing, Zombie Subtitles Parody. I'll open up my window where the video is, and I just drag this into the event manager and into that event. Once that's imported, I can click on it and drag it down into the timeline, and then I have my video here. To add in titles or subtitles, you click on the T over here, which means titles, and you get a bunch of different types of titles here. You have scrolling ones and far, far away ones and a bunch of different types here. What we're going to be using today is a very simple centered title, and you can, with this, do regular titles and subtitles. I'll show you how to do subtitles because that's what I care about right now. You click on the title that you want and just drag it over into the video. When it's showing all blue, that means that the title will take up the entire video or whatever clip you've selected. If you just want it to be at the beginning or the end of the video, just bring it up towards the beginning of the video, for example, and it will only take up the first four seconds. So then I'm going to drop it, and I have my first title. You can see that it's highlighted over here, and you can see that the text appears up here. You can have uh, full-size title text on the first line. You can have subtitle text on the bottom line. Although they call this bottom line subtitle text, that isn't really what we want, so I'm going to delete that. And then I'm actually going to delete all this text and say, hey, what's going on? That's going to be our subtitle. To make it go to the bottom of the screen where a subtitle goes, you just put the mouse pointer at the beginning, you press return four times, and now your subtitle is at the bottom of the screen where it belongs. When you're done, you click done. Let's say we don't want the subtitle to start right away. We can actually just grab the whole subtitle and drag it around the timeline. We can also make it shorter or longer by grabbing one of the ends and dragging it in to make it shorter, and dragging it out to make it longer. Very easy. The other thing about subtitles is that iMovie has it set up automatically so that they will fade in and fade out. So if we watch the movie, it's going to fade in. Watch, watch the little screen up here. I press go, and it fades in, and it fades out. That's not the look I want, so I'm going to double click on this and get the inspector for this clip. You can see the project setting is uh, half of a second for the fade in and fade out. I'm just going to set it to manual and then drag this neatly over to the zero and you have zero fade in and fade out. And let's watch what happens. I'm going to start it again from the beginning. It comes up immediately and it will stop immediately right about now. Now since you're going to be creating a lot of subtitles, let's set the fade in and fade out at the project level. You go to file, you go to project properties, click on timing, grab the title fade duration and drag that down to zero, then click OK. Now each time you add a new title on, it's going to have zero fade in and fade out time. So let's drag on another subtitle. Let's drag it on. If we drag it in the middle again, it's going to take up the whole clip. If you drag it on either end of an existing clip, it's only going to take up four seconds following or preceding the clip that it's next to. So I'm going to drop this one right here. Then again, I just select text. I can type in uh, not much. That's what's going on for this guy. I go to the beginning, click on the beginning, go one, two, three, four with the enter key. And then I will drag the end of this. Actually, at this point, you can't drag the end of this. You have to click off of it. Click, click, click off of it. And then you come up here. Now, this gets a little tricky. If you look at the cursor, it's one of those little numbers that'll uh, make the length shorter or longer. Well, I clicked and I actually dragged the wrong clip. So the easiest way of shortening two clips that are right next to each other is you grab a clip and you actually just drag, drag the whole clip so it's separated from the other clip by a little distance. Then you can grab the end of it and shorten it or lengthen it or whatever you need to do. Like that. So now let's watch what we have. Okay, what's going on? So that's the scene so far. You just add 10, 20 more of these and you get like a whole conversation. 
And just because I've shown you how to do a bunch of subtitle stuff, I'm going to show you how to do a regular title too, where it actually takes up the whole screen instead of overlaying over the clip that you already have. And with that, you just click on one of these titles over here in the title box, you drag it over and you put it at the beginning of a clip, or at the end of a clip, or between two clips. And when you drop it, it gives you some options here, you can choose black, white, or blah blah blah, you'll try it out yourself, and I'll just go with black because it's a zombie movie. You click on it and it inserts a four second clip of black with a four second title over the top of it. So let's say zombie movie, and we say done. So then we have a four seconds of black with a four second title over it, and if we trim this clip, I'm going to just select part of it, right click, select trim to selection, it will change the length of the title as well as the clip. So that's how you add titles and subtitles and things in iMovie. If you're not subscribed yet, please do, and happy editing! Please share this with